Hi peeps and welcome to another video from Master Waterman. Uh, this time it's uh, how to work a ledge. Find the hot spot on a ledge. At this stage of the dive I've found uh, located the ledge and I'm having a look up current. On the up current side of the ledge. Things seem to be pretty dead. You can see lovely drop off in structure. Drops off to about 12 meters to the sand. And about 8 meters, 9 meters to the top of the ledge. Can't see any of those holding fish. Old woman. Dusky sweet lips. Surgeons. There's one old woman. When I'm scouting, I don't spend too much time on the bottom. So I've got quick intervals between breathe ups. So I've marked already with my other gun and a uh, 650 gram drop weight. Because of the viz, you can't really see the bottom that well. So I'm using a boy as a marker. We already shot a nice cave bass in this cave. Which is just about 20 meters down the reef. Down current from the, where I was uh, previously down. You can see there's a few more holding fish here. Let me get another look in the cave. Thought I saw a yellow belly go in. Miro in Italian. Greece. So now I'm using a spetto, so I'm just lying and waiting for fish. So in the case is in North Coast, South Africa. Quasi at all. What I'll do is I'll gradually work my way down the ledge using the marker boy until I find the spot that's on. The current and visibility, the spots tend to change up and down the reef or the ledge as to where it's on and where it's off on a particular day. Yeah, we can see I found the mark. So the midway down the ledge, some lovely boulders, nice sand patch, and the ledge just on the inside. Where are the fishies? Lots of old women. There's a small bronze beam there. Come on, where's those fishies? Gotta be something, yeah? Um, did um, yeah, fishy, yeah, fishy. Still using the, the slow um, guarto. Slowly pushing along the reef with my hand. Just to see if I can find where those fish are. Where exactly they're holding. I think I got the mark worked out. So I'm going down just, just down current on the ledge from, from that, uh, that boulders. Aha! There's some Cape knife jaws in between, I'm oh, sorry, some Natal knife jaw in between there. Bump head parrots, same fish. Cuckoo bass. That one's just a little bit on the small side. can see a bigger one in the back. Let's see if it'll come forward. There he is. You 
game little fighters absolutely astounding fish to eat I'll try to pull them up as quickly as possible the croaking noise they make <laughs> tends to call sharks <laughs> like there weren't, weren't many sharks around in this day working the same mark again I'm a little bit more down current and on the outside on the sand. Looking up towards the light to silhouette the fish in the bad visibility. Those little stripy fish you're seeing every now and then are called Sergeant Majors type of uh, damselfish. That little purple and blue guy there, you can see her. So there's the bronzy in the back. Nice two kilo bronze beam. Bit of a long shot. Oh, the little uh, yellow and purple guys called a uh, purple rock cod or yellow is rock cod. They get pretty big, 10, 12, 17 kilos, and guys under size. When they reach adult size, they just become like a purple, dark black color. No yellow edges. Now we see what happens with the long shots. In the guts. putting my spear just behind the gills on the lateral line. Come here, Mr. Bronzy Bronze Beam. And there's copper beams in the cape. By the Indian fellas that fish. So I use a bomb to kill a fish. Don't need a knife. Through the spear, through the gills, lock the bob. So obviously I don't have a float with me or a stringer or boat. Then load the gun, then swim to the float. Because you can still shoot through that fish and, and shoot a kudo or something or fish that swim past on the surface. But you've always got to load a gun. Thing is starting to look decent. See, there's the tall knife jaw. Lovely cape bass there, about three kilos. I'll put a small piece of uh, rubber on my stringer. Just big on a um, rubber, keep the stringer tied up so it doesn't hook on other guys' float lines and hook up on the reef on the way back in. Also stop sharks from getting T-bone when they take your fish. Back on the mark. Let's see if we can find something a little bit bigger, yeah? See the fish are getting a little bit weary. Because of that bronze beam fighting like mad there. Eh? <laughs> Try to get kill shots on your fish if you can. To the left there, I'm watching a lemon fish type of sweet, sweet lips. Um, I'm just gonna see if I can get a, a shot on him, but I'd rather leave them alone because there's normally bigger fish around. Ah, what's that? A tropical tail. I won't take the shot here because I'm gonna ding my spear. Wait till he gets off the reef. Right behind the gills. 
basically spawned that fish. You can see his head is dark, body went light. Lots of color. These smaller tropical yellow tiles. Oh, they're a lovely child. Yeah. Game fighters, uh, if you don't actually hit the spawn, will get them through the cheeks. Quite a nice one for a short dive. Normally you only get them on boat dives on deeper pinnacles. through the cheeks let the current take me back down to the mark Saw a couple of dusky rubber lips on that last dive, off in the distance. So what I'm doing is I'm swimming down almost on top of the ledge away from the boulders. Just slightly more up current. Hello Mr. Crayfish. See if I can sneak over the ledge and get one. Oh, there's one. A little bit on the small side. About a kilo and a half. There's a two, two and a half kilo job. But he's being very, very sneaky. A little bit high because of the shots over the ledge. So I'm just playing him carefully. So even though it's bad, it was a really awesome dive so far. Um, let's see if we can um, find something maybe a little bit bigger. <laughs> but uh, yeah, great species dive. We're doing really well in a species comp. Of sweet lips. Oh, that string is looking boss. couple of last downs before it gets dark so I've moved my gun directly onto the mark with the weight you also will have noticed there's another weight sitting on my float the deeper I go the more weights I take off my belt I like to have neutral points here on the bottom probably recognize this footage There's an after all there, but I've already got two on the float. It's the right time of the day for game fish. So I'm looking up into the light. Oh, 
There we go. Some Spanish, narrowboard Spanish mackerel. Before video of this, um, I'll put um, a link to in the description. It's also on the channel. Nice 90 kilo fish. Good holding shot. And a game fight. Backed up nicely by my um, dive buddy, Master Richard Wirtis. And he puts in a um, great second shot here. Run. What a great end to a lacquer dive there. Eh? Awesome shot. Second shot there from Richard. Straight through the dome. Killing the fish instantly. Ah, on a great day, that's how your stringer should look at the end of the day. As always, dive safe and straight spears from the bear. <laughs> 